Hi and welcome to another video. Uh, in this video we're going to look at using background images and uh, we're going to look at two methods of, of using background images and what we're going to do is we're going to create uh, moving background images. Now I'm using the template node from Dashboard 1. I will be doing another video uh, at a later date with, with Dashboard 2. I've actually got two flows, this one here and background image 2. And they actually do it slightly different ways. So I should show you two ways of actually creating movable uh, background images. So let's have a look at the images first and then I'll take you through the, the flow. So we've got two here. This is the first method of doing it. Now we just click on start and we get the background image. Now what happens here when I click these buttons here it basically loads another image so th this one this flow here or this uh, template here is using four different images so I've, I've created four images and they basically simulate movement so if I click on one it loads, loads image one if I click on two it loads image two if you click on three it does image three and four it does image four so we've got the appearance of our arrow moving back and forth across the across the screen and now if we go on to the the bottom one here this does it a slightly different way what we're going to use is, is move a ball across the screen and it uses a single background image and it uses uh, the ball position to move the ball across the screen. Now we're going to change the colour as we move it. It's slightly different from the other one but you get the general idea. So if I click on one, the ball's here. On two, it's here. Three, it's gone across the other side and change colour. And four, it's over there. Okay, so let me take you through the two flows. So we do the first one first and these are our buttons here and if I look at the button basically they send a payload and background image one and if I look at the two background image two and three and four the same if I go to the rules here I set the class from the payload so I'm setting message dot class to background image one two three four and I set the payload to a blank because we're not using the payload and then if I look at the template node open it up here. Here we've got our classes here. Background image, this is the default, the start. Then we've got one, two, three, four. And you can see here that they're loading different images. And if I look at the the div, we're going to put the background as part of the div and we're just going to use the message.class and the message dot payload remember the message dot payload is set to zero so there it is there quite straightforward probably the easiest way of doing it um, obviously if you haven't got much movement it's probably easier to, to do it this way okay um, there is a bit of setup uh, that you have to do and I'm going to cover that actually at the end we need to change settings file and we need to um, put our images in a certain location we'll cover that in, in a second once I've covered the the second one so Let's go to the second one, and this time we're going to move the ball. So click on the start, and this time we got some JSON. And I'm setting the position 0, 0, and the color to be white. Now if you look at the this one here, and click on start, you can see there in the top left-hand corner, that is our ball. We set it to white, and we put it in the, in the top left-hand corner. And then if I go down to 1, we can see here we move the top down to 200 the left 200 and we change the color to red and obviously this is trial and error you need to actually work out the position on on the screen and if we go to the next one again we've moved it by changing the coordinates here Okay, and then I go into our template. The template node now is a little more complex, and you can see here the div 
is using our background image, background image here. So we don't change this, we're only using a single background image. And then we change it here and we set the set the icon we're going to use, we're going to use a circle and this is the one bit that changes the color, we change change the fill and here we actually change the position, you can see I'm changing the position at the top and I'm changing the position at the left okay um, now those are the two methods I found of doing it, they might not be the, the best methods but those are the ways I found, I, I'm not actually a uh, a front-end developer, so um, to a front-end developer they might appear very, very crude, um, but I say they do work and both of those uh, ways of doing it I've actually used in, in my flows. So what settings do you need to, to change? Well you need to change the, the settings file and you need to check, uh, set a static um, folder and you can see here mine is here under node red and I've called it node red static so that's where you're going to place all your your image files um, this is normally disabled by default and then we need to change the we need to copy the sorry, images into that that folder and this is the what the folder looks like and you can see here there's the node red static and I've created another folder called network and this is where all my images go. You see I've got um, the default one and then I've got uh, one, two, three and four. These are the ones used in the first uh, flow that I showed you. Okay and, and that's it. Um, well that's the end of the video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you like the video then please click on the like button. If you got any comments then please leave them below. and. If you'd like to get notified of new videos on the channel, then you can subscribe and click the notifications bell. Until next time, goodbye.